Hey there, everyone. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Tech Condo. We are live every single Saturday at 9 p.m. Central European time, 8 p.m. if you live in the UK, and uh, 3 p.m. Uh, Western side, uh, sorry, Eastern side of the US and on the left side of the US uh, at noon. How are you? I hope that you're doing well. Uh, let me get a little bit less because I see that I'm peaking and I don't like peaking on audio. So that is, uh, I hope that this is going well for you guys. And let's uh, start some music also because we're also going to talk a little bit about music in the what we call the pre-show. Um, if it works. So let me try to get that organized. So why is it not working? Um, oh, it is working. Uh, okay. So let's see what is going on. All right. This is this very far away. All right. Welcome, Floyd. Welcome, Paul. How are you doing, guys? I hope that you had a fantastic week. I definitely had a better week than last week. <laughs> um, so last week, of course, I was uh, a little bit uh, ill. I had a fever and I had bronchitis. Um, so I was roughly one, in, a little bit more than a, one than a week. I was ill and not feeling that well. But uh, like. Uh, Friday, uh, it was Saturday last week, it actually became better already and and uh, on Monday I actually had a very, very awesome day and we're going to talk about that in the pre-show because th this is a mind-boggling, it was really cool, but it has nothing to do with the, sh the show, so that's something that we'll do in the pre-show. Hey Amy, what's uh, what's up? Happy uh, Saturday as well. Let me put you, your comments up on, uh, on this on the on the screen. So Amy is on YouTube, so you can comment on both YouTube and on Facebook. So really great of you to be there. Um, uh, Floyd says, "Show of the hand that that is famous now. I will definitely show that hand. Of course, I have that ready uh, up and running for you guys." Uh, like I said, Paul is also in the house. Welcome, Paul. Paul Dixon, who had has designed our, our website, the Tech Condo Community website. Awesome stuff. He is a, he's, he's a gem if it comes to design. Thank you for being here as well, uh, Paul. And of course, yeah, Floyd already says a good day. And yeah, indeed, the hand. Let's talk about the hand. So. As you can see, I have a shirt on. Let me remove this uh, this coffee for a bit. I have a shirt on of the Simple Minds uh, right there. And this is actually the, the, the cover of the album. And I'm a fan. I've been a fan since 1987 of the band. So I am a little bit um, not not so objective if it comes to their music, so, so to speak. Um, and I've been going to their uh, concerts for such a long time uh, that I mean, I've been, I've been pr practically a part of the furniture uh, in their area. Um, but and I have always been what like like in the top four or five lines uh, if it comes to the venue. I've probably been there for, for, uh, apart from the last uh, tour, which was the acoustic tour, which I unfortunately was. All the way in the back, uh, but normally I am in front and I'm standing and I'm enjoying myself quite a lot. But this time around, it was actually a little bit more than I had uh, seen before. So let's first of all let me show you show you some videos, which uh, some pictures that I made from uh, Simple Minds uh, where I was. Why am I using that mouse? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's not gonna work because of that. Uh, so first of all, let's show you um, an idea on the pictures that I created. So let's put that right there. So this is Jim Kerr, the the the, 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 the singer of the band, and this is exactly from the location where I was. Uh, it is awesome. This is Charlie Burchill, the the guitar player of the band. He is the the musical genius of the band, and. Uh, it was really, 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 really awesome. I think that I have another one here at, uh, with uh, another singer in the end, uh, at the back, and of course their new. Uh, this was the venue, by the way. It is a very nice venue. Uh, it has a little bit of a, of a of a church feel to it, but uh, it is definitely not a church. Um, but it really looked very awesome. 
Um, now, out of a sudden, out of the blue, uh, of course, the Simple Minds also have a Facebook page. And that Facebook page, they posted a picture uh, of uh, of the band and a little bit of, 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 the, of the audience. And that was uh, this picture right here. And the, the cool part is of that picture is that um, this is again the singer of the band, uh, uh, Jim Kerr. Uh, the hand that is roughly in the spotlight that you see uh, with the one finger up, which is right in the spotlight, that is my hand. So that was uh, awesome. And of course, I really, really liked to have this picture. And uh, I was uh, saying to people that I know, I said, hey, yeah, yeah, I even touched Jim Curry. He actually touched me. And uh, it was like a very, uh, uh, an awkward moment because I thought it was like a, just a very brief uh, hand, hand clap or whatever, but it actually turned out to be really two, three seconds long. Well, at least that is what I felt. And um, to show you, I actually have the video uh, available to show you that that actually happened. So let me um, get that organized. This is from uh, YouTube, uh, from another person that I don't know in the audience, but I am 100% sure, 100% sure that this is my hand. So let's go into it and uh, show it to you. There you go, and boom, that's me. There you go, there you go, yeah, and that was it. <laughs> I love it, I just so much love it. Uh, my dad is also in the house, welcome dad. He uh, says uh, she did not wash her hands this week. That's actually, if that would have been possible, I would definitely not wash my hands. But of course, uh, it's not a good idea not to do that. But okay. Hey, anyway, that is that. Um, Amy is also saying that, um, uh, so you are a groupie. Uh, yes, I am a groupie. And I don't really care about that, to be quite honest. I mean, I really, again, love those people. And uh, yeah. So that was my uh, Monday and next to my Monday uh, on Tuesday, I had a meeting with regard to the website of the radio station. Wednesday, I didn't do that much, fortunately. Uh, well, yeah, Wednesday, actually, I did some other work, but that's not important. Thursday, um, uh, I had a meeting at, at, the, at the station and on Friday, we had another meeting at the station. And, so the whole the whole week was meetings, 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 and the station. I mean the radio television station. And one of the things that we were we we are talking about is buying a computer for streaming, which is totally awesome because of course this is also part of what what we do over here. And uh, most of you that are in the uh, here as well, uh, like Amy and uh, and uh, Floyd, definitely also uh, have some cool. Uh, stream is going on so that is a little bit of a pre-show uh what we're going to talk to you about in today's show is about uh the network setup that, that i have in the studio i did quite some work today it took quite a while before i could do it but there was a reason for that and i'm going to touch about that i also will uh in the meantime uh, make sure that this is all uh, ready for uh our show because otherwise you're not going to, <laughs> you have to wait for it. And I don't want to do that. So uh, let's uh, put that run here. And uh, so one minute to go, uh, get, up, get up a cup of coffee. And uh, we can start in 30, 40 seconds. Oh, by the way, I'm not all by myself because uh, in the meantime, I can actually show you that Kermit is in the house. Unfortunately, he's right about out of, out of the picture a bit, but he is minding his own business as he typically does. And I'm really happy for him to be there. So Kermit is also in the house. And um, yes, so let's, uh, ten, 10 seconds to go. One final sip of uh, co uh, coffee because otherwise I'm gonna cough like crazy. <laughs> okay. 
Welcome everyone. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Techcondo. Techcondo is a show where we geek out on technology around around a house, a living room, a situation. Um, but it can be uh, gadgets. It can be uh, um, cameras, it can be microphones, it can be also something about networking. So today we're going to talk about networking. I just uh, installed a new device, uh, which is the um, security uh, gateway from Ubiquiti. And we will be talking about why am I changing this? Why is that important for me? And should you do the same thing? And that is, of course, something that's all, always for you to decide. But I can only give you an advice. And that is also something that I will going to do. So let's uh, get the show started. Okay, again, welcome to the show. Welcome to Taekwondo. Um, um, I am doing the show uh, not by myself, but also I have so, uh, some cool roommates and we have also quite some people in the, um, the, 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 the chat on both on YouTube and on Facebook. And like, uh, I typically really like that because it makes it a little more, more interesting to talk about what's going on and, uh, you know, um, really have a, a community so let's start let's talk about the uh, network that i've uh, set up um so a few weeks back and uh, uh, i started with the installation of the ubiquity uh, access point the uh, and in my case this is the apac pro and this is an access point that I really needed because um, the current situation what I had was that in this studio, I, I could not um, um, have a good Wi-Fi signal. And being in the studio, you really need to be sure that everything is, in, uh, is going well and that and it was simply not possible. So that was my first problem, is that my Wi-Fi signal within my apartment, in my condo, was not uh, suit suitable for what I do. So I needed an access point. Now, when I bought the access point, I actually, uh, roughly at the same time, my dad, who is also uh, part of the community, he uh, actually also did the same thing. He started to buy an access point from Ubiquiti. Uh, he bought a router uh, from Ubiquiti and some other stuff, which is a cloud key, which we'll, we'll talk about. We'll talk about during today what that is, uh, because I will do roughly the same thing. But it did, my 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 uh, my setup is a little bit different than my dad's, but we'll talk about it. So first of all, what did I use before I went over to the uh, Ubiquiti uh, uh, product line? And that was this product. This is the uh, time capsule from Apple. Uh, it, 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 it has served me well, that's for sure. Uh, when I bought it, it was state of the art. You uh, could um, um, not. It had uh, four channels uh, for wired uh, networking. It had Wi-Fi, which was uh, okay-ish, uh, and it had a hard drive in there. And with the hard drive, you could use what they call time capsule. And Time Capsule is a product where you can back up very easily and uh, without any knowledge about uh, incremental backups and that kind of thing. So it was a very nice product when I bought it. And I until now, I think it was at that time the best product that, that, that I could buy. But unfortunately, time progresses and Apple simply doesn't really invest a lot in these kind of products. So what do you then do? Well, um, being a geek, <laughs> being a person that wants to have the perfect internet connection, I, uh, we, I, together with my dad, we figured out that the Ubiquiti line would be the most suitable for our, um, our needs. So 
Um, so that's what we did. So we started with the access point, and uh, the access point is actually also in the house. It's also running because I can actually show it to you. Um, that would be this uh, one over there. So this is the ubiquity right there. This is live. This, uh, this that's the round thing uh, in the corner of the trussing. And that is actually the part where um, I get my Wi-Fi from. And it's really a very good Wi-Fi connection. It's unbelievably stable because with the uh, Apple product, uh, my, the stability was not great. It uh, sometimes just fell away and came back. It was, uh, it was not the way that it should be. And it's absolutely not the way that I think about Apple, right? Sorry to say. Anyway, so so it's re reliability. That was one of the problems. Uh, the the, the Wi-Fi uh, signal was a problem. And another thing is that I actually want to have a feeling that I am secure. Um, in all fairness, this, this system that I'm using for uh, streaming actually does not have a firewall, does not have a uh, fire scanner because I'm only using it for uh, streaming to Facebook, to YouTube, and those are also the, 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 the two and three um, uh, and, v, and vmix and live stream those are actually the, the, the websites that I use and for, uh, and apart from that I don't use it at all so that is something that is uh, really uh, great I see that uh, Amy by the way uh, she says that um, she actually purchased the same Unify access point six weeks ago I hope that you like it tell me what you think about it uh, Amy because maybe we, we can share our experience uh, I say, hey, I see also Jordan is in the house and uh, Jordan is actually one of the, the guys that uh, is in the, in, in the community that is actually a network specialist, if I may say it like that. He is a really good guy and uh, I trust him thoroughly if it comes to what kind of network uh, should I uh, take. And actually, he was one of the people that said, hey, you, the uh, Unify uh, from Unify product line of Ubiquity is actually a very good um, line. So, okay, so we had the access point and uh, now, come, now came that I wanted to have the, the uh, ability to monitor what I'm sending out. In order to do that, uh, the Ubiquity has a um, control um, panel, um, a configuration panel uh, that is a, a website. And I actually, uh, what, what you do is you have two, two versions of it. So the first version is a application that you can actually run on a Mac or on a Windows PC. That's what I did uh, on my system. So uh, if I show it to you, it's called a Unify controller. And let me show you the way that it looks. So this is the Unify controller, this this lo this uh, window right over here, which I'm just scrolling on, on the screen at this moment. And it actually opens up this product. And this product is really, really powerful. And we're going to talk about this product definitely um, today for a long time, I think, because this is actually one of the major uh, reasons why I bought the uh, security gateway. Be before I forget, I also need to show you again what uh, that, uh, how, how that, how it looks like. So the security gateway, I'm, unfortunately, I'm not able to show you the product at this moment because it's installed and it's used now. At this moment, we're running uh, uh, the stream through that machine. Um, and this is the box. And this is also the, what it looks like. So it's a, a very simple uh, product. It only has uh, one WAN connection, which is right there. I'm not seeing where I'm pointing, that one. One WAN connection, then two LAN connections. So that's internal. WAN is the World Wide Web, LAN is internal. And then this is for the console, which is something that I, at this moment, not use. But this is the product. And um, I am going to show you 
where I have things installed. But before I do that, uh, I see that Amy is also uh, saying something, and that is that it is providing Wi-Fi to three levels of my house, and it's very impressive. It is definitely the case. Although I have to admit that for me, I do see a drop in my Wi-Fi range in my living room, which is kind of awkward because I don't have a big house, but uh, it seems to be the case. Um, Jordan also says that uh, Apple is not AC. Uh, AC? Oh, I got gotcha. you. So that's the Wi-Fi uh, protocol. So it's uh, not the new protocol. Correct. I, I, I understand. So um, so it's actually the, the installation is very easy. It actually has a very small booklet. The only problem that I faced with the installation of this product is that it's also a uh, D, DHCP server. And the DHCP server uh, does not like to be uh, used when you also have a DHCP service on your modem. And for some strange reason, it doesn't work at all, it, this installation, if you have the modem with DHCP on. Uh, in my particular uh, situation, um, I actually had to call the internet provider to set my modem to bridge mode. That's something that I could not do myself, that is locked out. I don't know why, but <laughs> that's the case. And um, But... Uh, it was very easy. I was calling them, and within the hour, it was uh, set to bridge mode, and I could actually use it very easily. And I actually created a few videos for you guys to show so that you get a bit of a feeling on what I've done. So the first video is about the uh, the location in a technical closet. I, I call it is I don't know what the terminology is uh, in in this in in, uh, in English, but it's uh, where you have the the gas and electricity and everything that comes together in the house, and and you also have the meters so you can know, um, you know how much you uh, spent. So this is the first video, and I actually have some comments there as well. So I will shut up for now, and uh, let's uh, show okay, it to so you. Okay, so this is in the uh, closet, and uh, here you see the modem, which is uh, a modem that I received from my cable provider called Zigo, uh, is roughly the same as Xfinity, for instance. Uh, and beside that, you'll see the new device, which is the Unify Security Gateway. And it actually has the uh, the WAN port right there, the black one, and two LAN ports. So I actually have two LANs connected to that device. And um, let's go uh, show you which is the first LAN. But before I do that, uh, so that is the typical setup. and. The, 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 the lands are, to, that is something that I was, um, first of all, amazed about that that was part of this product. So um, you actually can have two subnets in that device. And I actually thought that would be a great idea because uh, my studio, I want to have my studio really uh, isolated and fully manageable. Uh, and that's the reason why I put everything in my studio in the first LAN and the rest of my house, so all of my Sonos and Google Home and uh, Apple TV and that kind of stuff, it's all in a separate LAN. But it, it is, uh, I can't cross it, that, that bridge because I do have some routing in there as well, but, uh, but it is a little bit more safe and it's also more manageable. So that was a great uh, thing. And uh, yeah, I do love that uh, control software. And that's also what Amy says on uh, YouTube. She says, I am enjoying the controller software too. And it is definitely a great piece of software. And we're going to go into that uh, definitely. I think that this today is going to be a little bit of a longer uh, show, but uh, I have so much to talk about. So let's, uh, let's, let's move on. So let's talk about the first LAN and the, the first LAN is actually the studio. So here is actually the first uh, LAN. Uh, this is also the access point from Ubiquiti and it's connected to the Router, which is a, a, a Netgear router right there. And uh, this is the first LAN. 
Now, I will be changing the router to a Ubiquiti router, but that's at the later stage. And I'm going to the second lab. So, um, I just, uh, one, one thing, one side note, I'm saying router, and I will be saying router in the next video as well, but it's actually a switch. <laughs> just to let you know. So, I'm uh, using the wrong uh, name for that, but uh, that, that uh, sometimes I make that mistake. Um, Jordan says, what about the cloud key? Well, that's a good question, uh, Jordan. Um, so the, the controller software that we're going to talk about in a few minutes uh, is actually on my laptop at this moment. It's running ni nicely on my laptop, uh, but it's indeed something that I don't want to keep my laptop up and running the whole time. Uh, Ubiquiti has what they call a cloud key, which is basically a big U USB stick, like three times as big as a USB stick. But it, it, it holds the whole control software. It's uh, it's even more powerful than the version that you have on the um, on, on the computer, um, and it's definitely something that I will be purchasing. And we'll talk about what I will be purchasing also in the, in the future, in the future of this uh, well, in the, during this show. So that was the first LAN, and the second LAN is actually in my is living the room. Second uh, LAN, and this is uh, where you will find the. Uh, this router, don't uh, look at the mess because I just uh, put it in. And this is just, again, the net here, the same one that was in my studio. And this is also where I have the uh, Apple TV and other uh, uh, network devices connected. Not an access point yet. However, I do need to get one for this area as well. Yes, indeed. So I do need to have an access point there as well because I did see a drop in the signal at that in, in that area, and my Google Home, for instance, does not work at this moment on the location where I have it currently set up. It does work just like one meter further, so I'm I'm fine for now. It's 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 fine. I can use it at, at this moment, but it's not what I really would like to see. But hey, that's the way it is. All right, so those, that was the installation, and let's talk about the software now. Um, and uh, let me get to this um, thing, and then that one over there, right. Okay, so this is the dashboard. So in this dashboard, you can actually see, if I click on it here, you can actually see uh, the black period. Uh, the black part is the 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 uh, WAN, so that's the, the, the World Wide Web. Uh, and you can do quite some stuff. You can run a speed test over here, and which I can do right here at now. And it actually runs that, and you will see that it's not that fast at this moment. That's because I actually am currently uh, on a coax environment, and uh, it's not always the best, especially not on, on, on the... Uh, uh, there you go. Um, especially not during the night. However, I have to admit that it's getting better. So I think that my provider is getting a little bit more in the area where I, I would like to be. So you can see that I have my upload speed, which is 42, 37 ish. And the download is 150. And that 150 should actually be around about 300. But the upload speed is very, very close to what it actually should be. Um, I have a question from Amy or a remark. She says, uh, we purchased the Ubiquiti Edge Router X it, uh, Ether Ethernet router a few months ago. It sits between the uh, cable modem and the access point. Yes, the Edge Router, that is definitely one, uh, uh, Amy, that I am actually considering to buy myself as well um, because the Edge Router uh, does have for, uh, the the power over Ethernet adapter, so sorry, power over Ethernet uh, ability of 48 volts. And that is something that I can use for my um, PTZ optics cameras to uh, use that for uh, PoE. So that is very interesting stuff indeed. Going back to the to the to the software, so you can see the the black part that was the Wi-Fi part, and then you uh, the green part is uh, internally managed within my uh, system. And uh, so the WAN is actually also the uh, security uh, gateway. 
You have the the land, uh, which is uh, both lands, of course, and then you have the the, the W LAN, and that is uh, if you hear this is the uh, access point in the studio that's right here. You can actually see it here, but you can also see the same thing over here. So on the right hand side, you can see that I have uh, one which is uh, gigabit. Uh, well, I have one LAN that is not a full-blown uh, gigabit LAN. That's because there's only one product on that LAN that does not support one gigabit at this moment. I know exactly which one that is. My, my laptop. <laughs> uh, but that's fine. I mean, uh, it can handle gigabit network, uh, gigabits. And then the, the last one is that, and that is the LAN 2, which is in my living room. That is fully blown uh, gigabit network. You can actually also see other stuff, like for instance, the amount of uh, throughput that you have, the amount of data that you did. And that, that gives a, a bit of an, an idea on the, the, the amount of, 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 of work that you have in your, your system, in, in your network. What I really, really love about this software is the deep packet inspection. And that's uh, right that below here. It says 24 uh, gigs have, have been spent already today. But you can actually click on it, which I will do now. And there you will find a very nice uh, 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 way to look at the, 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 the amount of data and where are you using it with so for instance streaming media is uh, roughly 80 well uh 90 percent of everything i do and that is actually what i also expected but it's great to see that it's working so we have network protocols uh social networking so those are the pictures and uh, the texting facebook youtube that kind of thing you can actually also see that i've burned today 20.5 gigs for itunes and that is indeed the case because I was watching a movie uh, earlier today. Um, um, uh, Torn, no? Um, I'll check which one it was later. Uh, but it was a very good movie, by the way. Uh, YouTube, RTMP, which is uh, streaming again. Vimeo, Spotify, it's all in there. You can actually really see what you do. Uh, network protocols, uh, the web protocol, you see that I'm going to a speed test. I've tested, of course, I mean, I want to see how fast this is, and it's really, really fast. I mean, the Wi-Fi on my phone is unbelievably more fast than it was with the Apple product. That was that was totally different ball game. really a big change. Social network, you can see that I'm at the Facebook, WordPress, which is the uh, the... the um, website, that kind of thing. And there is so much more that you can see. Uh, you can, for instance, uh, go into uh, statistics, which is not that much at this moment because it's only one day old. Uh, the devices that I have, uh, th these are the two devices that I currently have. So I have the uh, Studio AP and I have the Security Gateway. And then you have the clients that are connected uh, with the IP addresses, etc., and uh, which network that it is. So private, that is the, the, the uh, living room, for instance, and the LAN is the uh, studio. So I'm probably going to change the LAN name to studio. And you can actually also see that I have uh, three cameras uh, running the Mevos. You can see Darth Vader, which is the streaming computer. Yeah, sorry, I'm a Star Wars fan. Uh, and that kind of thing. Uh, you can also see that my uh, Wi-Fi connection is called Degaba. Um, and the, this is also interesting, is to see if you have some, uh, some problems. So I do have some interference. Where does it come from? Who is interfering with me? And as you can see, we have quite some Wi-Fi hotspots here in this uh, apart uh, this. Uh, uh, um, condo building and uh, yeah, and in the area, so it's it's not that big uh, venery. Uh, if I look at 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 this, the 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 settings, there is so much to to look at. That's unbelievably a lot, uh, but uh, that that would take quite some time to go through one by one. But fact of the matter is. 
it gives a very good insight on do you have issues and how to fix them. Uh, so that's the reason why I had it. That I really like to be in control. That's also something that I like. Um, and this is the second part of the new network uh, environment. So what will be the next part? So, so moving on to uh, the next couple of weeks, uh, what will be the next part? So uh, Amy already said something about the uh, Edge uh, router. And I am looking if I can find that one here. Uh, I uh, Yeah, this one. So um, the next next up uh, on my list is to buy this uh, product. And I'm going to show you is this product. Boom. The edge switch. And the edge switch will be uh, makes it possible to also uh, connect my cameras to uh, the uh, to 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 my network and have power over Ethernet in a good way. So that is something that uh, I wanted to uh, invest in. And but apart from so this is uh, my studio setup. Uh, and uh, for my uh, my living room, I don't I don't need that that uh, system. That would that would be too much. <laughs> uh, but I will buy the this one. Oh, I hope that it's coming. Yeah, this switch is the one that I'm gonna uh, buy for my living room, which is a very nice. Also, power over Ethernet. The possibility is still there. But it's a it's a, a very nice compact uh, device, and of course you can expect me to uh, walk you through the installation process, walk you through uh, how it looks and how it works, uh, because again I think that networking is becoming more and more important uh, with the Internet of Things. With uh, the, if you have a studio like me or you have a lot of gear, you need to have a good uh, situation. Uh, my dad has a, has a remark on the uh, Edge. He says that the Edge is uh, self-supporting, making a dedicated control not required anymore. I did not know that. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, so, uh, but 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 the, the control might be still something that I need for uh, my uh, private living room uh, setup. But we'll talk about that and uh, figure out how to uh, how that works. Of course, you will be part of the process of going through um, the, these purchases because uh, apart from the network, I still also need to talk, think about uh, my my storage, my data storage. What, what, what will I do with that one? I have not thought about that currently. That's something that I will also talk about uh, during the coming weeks. So what can you expect? So this, w so this week I started to uh, install the uh, security gateway. And uh, in roughly uh, three, four weeks from now, I will also buy uh, one of the switches, maybe the, 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 the edge one or the other one. And we'll talk about that. And uh, moving on, you will see a full product uh, of a uh, full suite of, of, of components. And it hopefully will inspire you for, uh, for your own uh, benefits. So that was the show. I actually got it uh, within uh, 30 minutes. So I think that that's great. Uh, I really appreciate each and every one of you for being here. I love that you guys were commenting during the, the show. So I'm talking about my dad, Amy, Jordan was talking, uh, um, Floyd, Paul. And of course, if you don't see this live, please uh, join the conversation. I will be reacting to to your remarks, and uh, I really again appreciate uh, you guys. Especially, I want to sh uh, a quick shout out to these people right below. These are what I call roommates. They support the show. Do you want to support the show? Then head over to the website to techcondo.net, and there you will find uh, the this um, button right here, support tech condo. If you click on that you uh, can actually see, uh, you can choose how to uh, support the show. So you can do $5 a month, $10 a month, $20 or $50 a month. And don't worry if it's $5, uh, everybody, 
I am very happy with uh, whatever uh, you come up with. So again, these are the possibilities that you have. Five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, or fifty dollars. Again, I really appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope to see you next week. And next week, we're going to talk about a camera that uh, I have. And uh, you actually saw it earlier today. This was this camera right there. And um, the, the cool part of this camera is that you can actually do quite some cool stuff with it. Like, for instance, boom. Hello. And we're going to talk about uh, uh, this camera uh, starting next week week. Thank you very much for your time and see you uh, around. Bye. <laughs>